guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have teamed up with ASDM of Beverly Hills to show you guys how I keep my skin clear. Now I've had issues with my skin for as long as I can remember. I've been going to the dermatologist for years and years and every time I go I usually get a glycolic peel and those have helped my skin so much you guys. They have seriously reduced the size of my pores, the overall clarity of my skin, the texture, fine lines and wrinkles, like they have done amazing things for my skin. So when I saw that ASDM had these amazing products and they're supposed to be in office professional strength, I was all about that light. So I went ahead and picked up a kit and what it is is a three part treatment. Now the first part is this pre peel treatment. You get 50 pads in this little tub and before you start your treatment, you're gonna use one of these and rub it all over your face. Now what this does is it basically balances the pH level of your skin, um, removes your skin of any excess oil, kind of just maximizes the effectiveness of the peel. In addition, it also kind of unclogs your pores and just kind of preps your skin for the treatment. It really makes a world of difference, so you do want to make sure that you start with one of these. So the second part of the treatment is the glycolic acid itself. It comes in a jar that looks just like this. I'm going to be using the 25% solution today. If you are a first time user or if you have sensitive skin, you definitely want to start with the lowest percentage, which is going to be the 10. They have solutions that range from 10 to 30. I'm using the 25% just because like I've said, I've had tons of peels before. I'm really experienced with this product and it's just something that I'm really comfortable with. Now before you start your treatment at all, you guys, something that's really important is on the side of your treatment area, you're going to want to have a little solution of half and half baking soda and water. And what that solution does is it instantly neutralizes any type of acid. Anytime you're working with acid or any type of really intensive skin treatment, you want to have a neutralizing solution on hand just in case the sensation is too strong or if you happen to get the solution somewhere on your skin where it shouldn't be or if you just want to end the treatment early. Now. A lot of times when you have this treatment, it's not going to burn, but you will feel a little bit of a tingling sensation. It's not really that bad to me. I can handle it. I just kind of think it tickles a little bit. Now what you want to do is take a cotton ball. I use the Up and Up brand. These are just from Target. These are my favorite ones to use with this treatment. And you're going to take the solution and soak a cotton ball in the solution. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that cotton ball and rub it lightly all over your face and you do not want to go over the same area more than once. Now in areas that you are more prone to breakouts or that need a little bit more treatment, you can press a tiny bit harder in those areas. So for me, that's going to be on my T-zone, especially in my nose, my chin, and my forehead. Those are the three areas where I have the most blackheads and I am most prone to breakouts. So I definitely focus a little bit more pressure in just those areas. So once you've applied the solution, you're going to let it sit for about two to three minutes. Now, if you're a first time user or if you have sensitive skin, a minute to two minutes for your first few treatments is all that I recommend, just so that your skin has a chance to adapt and get used to the tingling sensation. Now, after the two to three minutes are up, you can go ahead and wash your skin with warm water and a washcloth. This should neutralize the solution. However, if it does not and you still feel some tingling, you can also use the baking soda solution. As I said, that will neutralize the acid and stop the treatment. So the last step in the process is going to be to go in with this post peel treatment and you're going to want to apply this liberally all over your skin and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Now what this does is it rebalances the skin's pH level after the peel. It delivers lots of healthy ingredients into your skin to help your skin heal from the treatment. So after you've let that sit for about 10 minutes, you can go ahead and rub any excess product into your skin. Now, anytime you do a skin treatment, especially a glycolic peel, your skin is gonna be a lot more sun sensitive. So before you go outside, make sure to apply an SPF and follow up with your favorite moisturizer as well. That will help protect your skin as well as aid in the healing process from the peel and really maximize the results. So if you guys would like to purchase a kit of your very own, I will leave the link as well as a coupon code down below. If you have any questions or you want a recommendation on what strength you should get, definitely leave me a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Now, ASDM Beverly Hills was also kind enough to give me a second kit to give away to you guys. So if you guys would like to win this kit, all you have to do is leave me a comment down below telling me what video you'd like to see next, and I will randomly select the winner one week from today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time.